Hey guys, Vladimir here. A few days ago, I did a video showing you the design and 3D print of my napkin ring here, which mainly served as a vehicle to show you some techniques when applying text on path, with, which is a, a relatively new feature in Fusion 360. And kind of the main thing I wanted to show there was how using arcs versus circles are gonna allow you to get more precision in how you position that text. So definitely check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Now, I mainly focused on text in that video, but in this video, um, I wanted to go over how I made these sort of uh, flowery leaf features here. Um, and it's mainly the technique that I use there, which is again, another uh, relatively new feature in Fusion 360, which is the thin extrude tool that we have access to. Now, both of these things I've covered in my live class, which I host every week uh, on Tuesdays. Uh, if you're interested in getting um, live help with Fusion 360, it's something you would definitely want to check out. I'm currently offering a, a Black Friday discount, so make sure to take a look. The live classes are a perfect complement to my uh, premium courses that I offer because it allows you to go through the course and then come in with very specific questions that you have. So make sure to check that out. All right, so to pick up on this design here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this timeline Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna delete a bunch of these features here. So let's delete all these moves. And then I'm gonna delete up to this sketch here. That's gonna bring us where we, before we even created those um, the little branches. And what I'm gonna do here is create a sketch on this surface here. And the way I approach this, um, and it's kind of unconventional, right? Um, this is more of an artistic approach that we're gonna take here. So I'm gonna start by creating a spline here. So fit point spline, and I'm just gonna draw just, just a, a spline shape here, and then maybe just kinda come in and tweak it. So this is just basically gonna be the branch. And then I'm gonna come in with the leaves. I'm still gonna use the spline here. And I'm just gonna draw one leaf there. Whenever you want a sharp curve on when using the spline, just end it and start another one. And now we have this. Okay, so I've basically got one leaf and I'm gonna take this and just uh, copy it multiple times. So right click, go to move copy, click the create copy button here. Actually, you have to be careful there. Um, here's a tip. When you click it, go to move copy. First have to click on this button before you can move it. Otherwise, it'll get grayed out. So I'm gonna do that a couple times. Another option is just to select it, um, command or control C and con command or control V to paste. We'll go ahead and do that for you. I'm gonna make three on this side and then three on this side here. So, okay, now I'm gonna move these into place. And so I'm gonna right click again, go to move copy, come down here. I'm just gonna get it close to the branch here. And I wanna make these each a little bit different. So I'm gonna kinda of tweak, tweak them a bit. Yeah, and then I can do that just by dragging them here and then selecting these individual spline points and moving them. So this is why I mentioned it's kind of a little unconventional, right? Like may, maybe you would do like create one normally and do like a pattern on path and you, you design this more efficiently, but if you want them to all kind of be a little bit different, you can then take this approach to just copy and then move them all into place. And notice I'm not attaching them yet. I'm just kind of moving them into place and then kind of just tweaking the leaves here. So, okay, I'll do that for each one of these. Okay, now that I have them into place, um, here's what I can do to attach them to the stem. I can click on each one or kind of just drag them over and you'll see them snap into place. But here's a, a trick I'm gonna do. I'm gonna temporarily fix this stem here. I'm gonna go to the fix constraints here, just select it and click on it, and you'll see it turns green. But now that I've done that, let me deselect everything by clicking on the blank area, and then I'm gonna click on the coincidence constraint. Now all I need to do is simply click on this point here, click on the stem. It's gonna keep that stem still, because it's fixed, and it's just gonna move this edge here, a little point, to attach to the stem. Okay, and then now I can unfix it. So hit escape, choose that stem, click unfix. And just a little trick there to get things to how, you know, 
move into place if you know you you didn't properly constrain things but you know where you want to get to in this case keep this still while I move the rest uh, into place okay now that I've modeled this I want to show you how you can use the thin extrude to quickly um, extrude this so d4 extrude and we're going to select thin extrude here instead of our regular extrude option I'm going to select the stem here and I'm going to go with a distance. So this is going to be the height of 0.8 millimeters. I'm going to print this at 0.2 millimeters. So that will give us four layers of this. And then for wall thickness here, I'm going to go just a little bit bigger than my nozzle diameter when 3D printing it. And that's going to be, you know, since I'm using a 0.4, I'm going to go with 0.5 there. All right, the next thing here is wall location, which is important. So you see here, the extrusion is on the right side of the line. If I go side two, it goes to the other side, the left side but I want this to be centered. So now you see the line runs through the middle there. So that's what I want there, I'll click OK. And let's bring the leaves back. And I'm gonna do thin extrude again, this time for the leaves. Um, gonna give it the same, same distance here, 0.8 and wall thickness of 0.5. Um, the only difference here, notice um, if I use center, actually let's change this to join. Uh, that actually is okay here, but for some other ones, you'll, yeah, if I'd like to do this one, you see it'll overlap um, on the edge there, you get, which I don't want, that little point there. So what I'm going to do here is instead of center, let me see if I try side two, it's even more because it's going on the other side of the line. But if I do side one, it goes on the inside of the line and then that works well. So, all right, and I'm just going to select each one of these leaves and it'll do the same thing. Now you can make these... Um, you know, if you didn't want to do thin extrude there, you could just make those fully uh, regular extrude and they'll just be completely filled in. But I kind of like that tracing look of it. So I'm going to keep that. And now all I need to do is I'm just going to select this whole thing and move it. So let's just go to right click, move, click here to select it. And let's go ahead and just position this now. So let me just go ahead and bring it over here. And then I can use a rotate option Maybe just to kind of get it into place. And it's okay if it overlaps because we can just come back later. Like if this goes over, you know, um, you can come back and just trim those out. It doesn't look bad at all. All right, so I'm going to just do two more of these. Move copy, create copy. I'm going to take this down here and rotate it maybe this way. You can get creative of how you place these. There's, you know, like I said, it's just, this is just kind of like an artistic approach. So there's no, um, no really correct way here. Should we flip this this way? And then we'll do one more. So, yeah. And you can tweak those however you like it, but I think that gets the job done. All right, now we'll just give it some color so it'll match the lettering here. So A for appearance, and we'll expand it here. This was a paint uh, metal flake. The quickest way to do that is just to expand it on your bodies here. Um, so we we'll can select these three, and then we'll just drag the appearance right here, and that'll do it. All right, and that does it. So uh, just the main thing here, showing you how you can use the thin extrude to quickly create these designs here, instead of you know trying to um, create the sketch as like a double line and then trying to trace it and maybe an offset. Um, this saves you a lot of time if you just approach it this way and take advantage of that thin extrude feature. Uh, the other thing is sometimes you just you know you can break the rules and just get creative with your designs to just you know, get what you're looking for. Um, so, you know, if you know the rules, <laughs> then you can know how to break them and, and get to the destination you're trying to get to. All right, I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions below. And again, if you want a more structured approach into uh, learning Fusion 360 uh, and you want to be able to 3D print your own designs, check out my courses. I've got the link below. And if you happen to be one of the lucky ones watching this uh, the last week of November, you can take advantage of my Black Friday special. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon.